Let's log into the AWS Management Console. Search for IAM Service. Here, I'm on the IAM Console. The first thing you notice is that IAM as a global service is not associated with any region. You can see all the regions are disabled. What it means is IAM users and groups are created in the global scope. So we are at the IAM console or IAM dashboard. The first thing I will do, I will create an IAM user. So I'll click users. Then I'll click add users under users. So why I'm creating this user is you can see I log in as the root user. I should not be using the root account for everyday operations, only in extreme use cases. So I'll create this IAM user and assign administrator policy to this user and we'll use this user for the admin access for this account as opposed to using the root account. So the username I have here is S Singh. I'll check the enable console access as I want to use this user to have console access as well. I'll set the custom password as this will be my own login account. I'll be using it in place of the root user. If I was creating for another person, I would have chosen an auto-generated option. I will uncheck users must create a new password at next sign in recommended as I'm fine with the custom password. This is my account. Click next. Here I'll add a user to a group. I'll click on create a group as I don't have a group. I'll name this group admin. Now any user placed in this group will inherit the permissions of that group with this admin group. If I create another user and I would like that user to be an admin user, I can add that user to the admin group. Permissions are defined through policies. Since this is an admin group, we will assign this group a policy called administrator access. This policy, if assigned, allows the user to be the administrator of that account. Click on the create user group and the group is created. As you can see the group, select the group and click on the next. On the summary screen, you can see the user name. The user is part of the admin group. Click on create user. Before you go further, download the credential if it is for you. Or you can send an email if the account is for some other user. Either you can email the sign instructions or download. I'll download. The important point here is that I'll use the console URL to log into AWS and login credentials will be in the downloaded file or email if you want to get it through email. Now let's explore what we just created under user groups. We find group admin and I click on it. I can use one user who is S Singh. If I click on permissions, I can see that under the policy name, the administrator access policy is assigned. This provides full access to this AWS account to any user in this group. If you click on this user, we have this permission. And the permission is assigned to the user as administrator access that we inherited from the group admin. This is a managed policy. So we have created a group and user. Let's go to dashboard. If you see here, this is my account ID. It is difficult to remember the account ID. So I'll create an alias. Here you can specify the alias that you prefer. Let me create an alias as v one this is unique alias for this AWS account. As you can see, it shows a signed URL. This is the custom URL based on my alias. I could get a console sign-in link. I should use this on a Chrome Incognito or some private browser session to not conflict with the existing session. As you can see, we have three fields, account ID, IM username, and password. You can also get this page when on the main page. You select not a root user and provide your alias then it will take you to this page. Now you're logged in as an IAM user. Here it says IAM user and account ID and IAM user and alias. Here it says account ID, root user and account ID. This IAM user can do anything that the root user can do as both are admins. It's always advisable to use an IAM user with an administrator access policy as it is relatively safer than using a root account. I think you got the idea about the IM user and IM group.